Well, as you know, this originated, this train originated in New York. It went into New Jersey. That involves the governors of both states. Right now, we are joined by Governor Cuomo of New York. He is back in his Midtown office, having toured the scene earlier. Governor, thanks so much for joining us. Everybody wondering and wanting early answers. We know it's early in the investigation, but what do we know about how this could have possibly happened at this point? Yeah, I know people want answers. It's human nature. Uh, but we want to make sure we have the correct answer before you put, for, uh, put forth anything. And the short answer is right now we don't know. Uh, what we do know is the train came into the station uh, too fast. Um, some estimate about 30, 35 miles per hour. Uh, it hit the end post, uh, the bumper block went right through that, right uh, over the platform, stopped just short of the wall to the station itself. Uh, when it came over the platform, it knocked over columns that were holding up a canopy, a rooftop, uh, and these were very solid I-beams. Uh, the I-beams fell, the roof fell, the canopy fell, debris flew from the uh, platform, the fatality was a woman who was on the platform, uh, and the abrupt stop uh, obviously injured a lot of people in the train. We don't know uh, what happened. Uh, there's a lot of speculation, maybe equipment failure, maybe medical condition of the conductor. Uh, but we don't know, and uh, until we look at the event recorder, until the NTSB does their uh, investigation and the debrief of the conductor, I don't think we're going to know. We've been focusing now on trying to get the commute back uh, as uh, quickly as we can, because your report is exactly right. Hoboken is a very big station, and uh, I was with Governor Christie this morning. First thing, we are pooling all our resources. Uh, we have on this side of the river, obviously, Metro North, MTA, and we're working together hand in glove, uh, not just to make the repairs at the Hoboken station, but to offer people alternatives like Metro North, uh, up to Tarrytown bus service from there for today and for tomorrow morning. And then uh, they're working as fast as they can to clear the station so Hoboken is operational. Good news is the PATH trains are running again uh, from Hoboken to New York City. So uh, that should help alleviate the situation. But uh, until we get that station clear, we're really not going to be back to normal. Governor, we are no stranger to events like this. It's a sickening feeling when you first get the call, when you hear the news. You, you got another one of these calls today. I'm wondering, A, what was your first thought? And then B, when you went out to the scene today, what did you think? Uh, here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. Uh, you know, this morning I was uh, literally sitting on the tarmac looking at an airplane. I was ready to go to Israel to uh, the funeral of Shimon Peres, who was a beautiful human being who I knew personally, former president, prime minister of Israel, great friend to New York. Uh, and I was talking to someone and I said, you know, I don't like to leave the state because uh, I get paid to do a job and I get paid to be here, especially if something happens. And uh, the person said to me, well, you know, we went through the bomber last week, the Chelsea bombing. Uh, nothing is going on now. And literally 10 seconds later, uh, the Blackberry started to go off with this news of the train. Uh, my father was governor for 12 years, had about six disasters. I've been governor about six years. I probably had double that number of disasters. There is no doubt the frequency of emergencies is way up. There's no doubt the stress is way up. Uh, it's mother nature. It was a possible storm a few weeks ago. Uh, it's terrorism. Uh, bombings on the west side of Manhattan, uh, train uh, emergencies, which we've had a number of. The, uh, the combination is uh, stressful for New Yorkers. The good news is, and you saw it again today, I believe it's made us better. 
And I believe it's made us more resilient, and I believe it's made us more collegial, and I think you see people in New York and New Jersey more willing to pitch in and help each other than ever before. You know, uh, I'm old enough to remember when New Yorkers, when, when I was young, New Yorkers were a tough, uh, tough lot, you know, and we would keep to ourselves and we were a little suspicious. I think our sense of community has gotten much stronger. And I think our connection one to the other has gotten much stronger. And I think our love of community has gotten stronger. All the reports in New Jersey were that you had the people who were on the platform all rushed to help the people on the train. Uh, and you get that more and more. Uh, 23rd Street, the bombing. I talked to a number of people who right away, their instinct was to run and to help, you know. Uh, today, almost everybody in New York is a first responder. We've gone through so many of these situations that I think we've recalibrated and we are more resilient and we are more community oriented. But there is no doubt that it is a more stressful time. Okay, Governor Cuomo, thanks so much for your, uh, your thoughts, your insight, and the latest information on the Hoboken train crash. All folks wanted to do today simply take the train and go to work. All right, we're going to.